At the heart of the NICE discussion room is a large interactive whiteboard which allows for multi-user interaction using digital Anoto pens. To display the content, we use three short throw projectors. In addition to direct interaction with the whiteboard, we support the seamless integration of external data sources such as laptops or traditional paper. A sketching program for large interactive wall displays was developed specifically for the provided hardware setup. Various tools and attributes can be accessed by using either a physical tool palette or a digital pie menu. The digital menu can be opened at any position on the whiteboard with a simple dwelling gesture, offering an optimized interface design and direct feedback. The tangible menu can be used as a remote control when carried around, or can be pinned to the whiteboard using magnets. Users can sketch on a canvas of infinite size and can zoom in and out as well as pan around using gestures. Additional layers can be shown or hidden on top of the sketching canvas using tangible magnetic pins. To invoke a new layer, a user must first touch the magnetic pin with their pen and then select the corresponding area on the whiteboard. Simple pen stroke gestures allow for the repositioning or hiding of layers. The overview layer shows thumbnails of all sketching canvases of the current session. It allows switching the currently active canvas, rearranging the order of the canvases, or deleting them. The system supports full integration of traditional paper. Drawings made on paper can be streamed to the whiteboard, Sketched ideas can be moved easily from one screen to the other using a pick-and-drop metaphor. The third overlay shows a screen capture of an external laptop. On demand, users can take a snapshot of either the entire laptop screen or just select a specific region. The snapshot then becomes part of the sketching canvas and can be annotated and modified. 39 participants from a local software engineering company were asked to test the NICE discussion room. The participants worked in a group of three to design a nearby restaurant. After brief instructions, they were given five minutes to become familiar with the system, followed by a 20-minute formal demonstration of the main features of the system. The group then spent 30 minutes performing the task. Analysis of the system interaction logs revealed that, on average, about two-thirds of the system interaction time involved the use of the digital whiteboard, while about one-third of participants' system interaction time involved use of the paper interfaces. We log the pen input on the whiteboard, counting approximately 1.2 million strokes for all participants. Our analysis revealed that participants generally partitioned their interactions into separate regions of the display, often corresponding to the three different projected screens. Here, each participant's system interaction is assigned a different RGB color. The system logs were also used to create chronologies that reveal when participants were using the interfaces during the sessions. In a post-study questionnaire, we asked participants to rate the usefulness and ease of use of various features on a 5-point Likert scale. A large majority of the participants rated the general impression of the discussion room as either very good or good. Most of the participants found it relatively easy to transfer data from the PC and their personal notes to the whiteboard, while more participants had problems with the concept of the overlays. The interaction analysis draws on participants' self-assessment of group performance, video analysis of recorded sessions, as well as track data on interaction with paper and whiteboard. In general, the participants were happy with both the discussion and the results, and stated that it was very easy to bring in their own ideas. The results on participants' interactions within the discussion room are preliminary and require further study. Nevertheless, the observation on the creation and use of artifacts, as well as the coordination of the collaborative work process, makes it clear that an environment such as the discussion room also requires the development of new practices to exploit its full potential.